Am I the butthole for telling my daughter's father we are not a family? Posted by Tasing Lamom. I, 33 year old female, am a single mother to a six years old girl. I've raised my daughter all on my own. She was born from a one night stand with a now former friend, 37 year old male. We never got together and he refused to be involved in my pregnancy or my daughter's first four years of life. I was stressed out emotionally because it's a big change, but I never asked for child support or force him to be involved. I have enough income to send my daughter to private school. I am perfectly fine on my own. The issue started when he reappeared from wherever he went and decided he wanted visitation. He's not in my daughter's birth certificate. Father is listed as unknown. He wanted to have that amended. I said no, and that if he wants, best he'll get is to meet her in outings with myself or my daughter's godparents. He agreed, but he's been constantly pressuring getting parental rights. Court already gave him a big fat no, unless he pays four years of child support, which with his income goes somewhere around 230 KSD. He hasn't paid a cent. My daughter doesn't even call him dad, or recognize him as dad. She calls him Mr. I keep it very clean. I never bad talked him, never made up stories. When she asked about her father I used to say it was just the two of us. Even during court the assigned CPS agent testified that my daughter had no affection or clear relationship with her biological father. Now the main issue happened in a PTA meeting. He would say things like my family thinks or what is best for my family. I didn't agree with him and I voiced by saying, my daughter has different needs and those are priority. He was clearly angry. After the meeting, there was a moment for teachers and parents to mingle and just talk how the kids are doing. One of the teachers approached me to apologize, saying she didn't know my husband and I didn't like a project she was doing with the kids. I told her I had no husband and my daughter loved the project and wants to be part of it. The teacher then told me that my former friend was going around talking like he's my husband and he represents the family. I saw red. I walked to him and very loudly told him we needed to talk in private. In the parking lot I told him we were not a family and that he either will respect I am the only one that can make decisions on my daughter's education or he won't be involved. He went on about being her biological father, then I reminded him he had not paid a cent for the pregnancy, my daughter's needs or even the private school my daughter is in. He hasn't tried to see my daughter since, which she doesn't mind at all. I asked her. I do feel a bit bad about what I said. Am I the butthole? I wanted to add this because the PMs are driving me insane, he has the money to pay child support. He chose not to pay. He was never prohibited from being involved. He had my phone number. I sent him picture and invited him to birthdays and other big celebrations. He never came. Sa. We are not in the US. To your listener, if you want more of this content, please consider subscribing. It will really help the channel grow. Thank you for your consideration. Do you think the mother was too harsh on the father? Should the father have the right to visitation and decision-making authority if he has not paid child support? You did nothing wrong, you have every right to be upset with him for trying to assert parental rights without paying child support or being involved in your daughter's life, and it's understandable that you set boundaries and stood up for yourself and your daughter. Max the Cookie commented, Why is he in a PTA meeting with you? Have you told the school that he can't pick her up? Not the butthole, he decided to leave and did not support you during the pregnancy or the first four years of her life. He is not a parent. He might be the father in the sense that he is the bio-parent, but he is not a father to you, daughter. OP answered. He actually forced himself into the meeting. I wanted to give it a chance for him to be involved. I didn't expect him to act this way, though. Am I the butthole for confronting my daughter's teacher? Posted by Minimum Film 7A. My daughter is in sixth grade. A few weeks ago, one of her teachers asked them to create a children's book. My daughter has a very good imagination. She wants to be a writer when she grows up and she is pretty good at it. Her favorite books are the Goosebumps series. So when her teacher gave them this assignment, she decided to write a book similar to the Goosebumps. I am not going to say it was perfect because she is just a kid, but it was a decent book and I was proud of her when I read it. She also found a notebook with the picture of a girl on it and decided to write the story on that notebook and chose the girl to be the main character in the story. Well, a week ago she came home crying her eyes out. 
Apparently, the teacher chewed her out when she saw her story. She basically told her that her story is the worst one in their class. I comforted my daughter, however, it has been a week and she hasn't been writing anything. She used to write a lot of stories, but she has lost interest. I was really angry, so I decided to meet the teacher, and I told her she owes my daughter an apology and needs to compliment her book. She said she will not be doing that as my daughter did an awful job. According to her, my daughter should have created a cover instead of using a notebook and called her lazy for not putting any effort in it. And also, according to her, a children's book needs pictures, and my daughter didn't do that. She told me that my daughter got a D in this assignment and she won't get an apology for being lazy. My daughter spent two weeks working on that story and its details. She is in no way lazy. I called the teacher a B word and told her she has no right to talk about my child that way or treat her like that. She called me in butthole and asked me to leave. What do you think was the teacher's motivation for being so harsh on your daughter? Do you think it was fair of the teacher to give your daughter a D on the assignment? The teacher's behavior was completely unacceptable, and it's understandable that your daughter lost interest in writing after such harsh criticism. I would suggest you talk to the teacher again and explain how her words affected your daughter, and ask for a formal apology. A comment from Kalitha Blaze. Info, what exactly was the assignment? I'd expect that for a big project like this, there should have been a clear description of the assignment, maybe even a handout with all of the requirements on it. You should ask about that and see whether your daughter's story actually met the assignment criteria before you talk to the teacher. It sounds like the assignment may have specified making a cover in pictures. If you jump down the teacher's throat before verifying that your daughter actually did the assignment, then you are majorly at fault. If you went at the teacher even though she didn't do the assignment properly, you are in the wrong there too. A comment from GX Erdic. Info. Were the requirements for the project clear, and did the teacher provide written feedback to explain the poor grade? Am I the butthole for blocking my door off to my room with my bed to prevent my cousins from using it as a guest room? Posted by Honest Packagione 1335. Backstory. I, 15-year-old female, was born in Madrid, Spain to Spanish parents, but we immigrated to the US when I was one and we have lived here since. We do go back to visit my grandparents and whatnot, but this year, they came to us. I live in a small, two-bedroom house with my parents. I am an only child so I get one room to myself and my parents get the other. This isn't enough space for my grandparents plus my uncle and his wife and kids. My grandparents booked a hotel near to our house but my uncle is too cheap for that. He wants me to give up my room for his kids while he and his wife sleep on an inflatable bed beside them in my room. I explained that I have sleeping issues and would appreciate keeping my room. He kept insisting and annoying my parents about it till they finally caved in and told me to sleep on the couch in the living room. I didn't want to give up my room, so when nighttime came last night I rolled my bed to the door and locked it for extra security so they couldn't get in. Of course, they were upset and tried to get more to open the door and let them in but I didn't budge. I kept my room for the entire night. Morning time, I wake up expecting a crap show. Basically. I got yelled at for having a tantrum and not making a small sacrifice. I understand what I did seems like a tantrum, but I don't feel like they are entitled to my room. I pointed out that my grandparents got a hotel and that they could have done the same. Am I the butthole? Was the OP justified in refusing to give up their room? Did the grandparents and uncle have a valid reason for requesting the OP's room? You are not the butthole here, your uncle and grandparents are being unreasonable and disrespectful of your personal space and boundaries. A comment from Scorpioza. Not the butthole. If the living room is good enough for you, it is good enough for your uncle. Geez, your parents are spineless. Rude Rite 1620 commented. Inda, let's normalize kids not giving up their sleeping space for others. I would never expect my kids to sleep on the couch so my brother and his family can have their room. That is all for this video. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day and hopefully I see you soon.